while summer is technically over, there's still plenty of time here in Virginia to soak in some sunshine. The changing season has me thinking about vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin, and whether it might help fight off coronavirus. What does vitamin D have to do with the immune system? Okay, first, vitamin D is not a vitamin at all. It's a hormone. A vitamin is an essential nutrient that our body needs but doesn't make, so we have to eat it, like vitamin C. But our bodies can synthesize or make vitamin D. Vitamin D is known as the sunshine vitamin because when the ultraviolet rays of sunlight hit our skin, they convert a protein called 7-DHC into vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is then processed by enzymes in the liver and kidney to become activated. Vitamin D is essential for the absorption of calcium and for overall bone health which is why many breakfast cereals and milks are fortified with it. But vitamin D is much more than just bones. It plays a role throughout the body, improving functions of the nervous and cardiovascular systems, regulating insulin levels, and more. Vitamin D is especially important for immune system health. It has anti-inflammatory effects, and it boosts the production of immune cells. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked to a huge number of illnesses and disorders, from cancer to Parkinson's disease. While medical scientists are still working to understand the supportive role of vitamin D in our health, it's clearly important. Currently, there are no studies of the effects of vitamin D on the novel coronavirus. But we do know that vitamin D supplements have shown protective effects against acute respiratory infections, like common colds and the flu. So, as we're headed into the fall, it'll be important to have a healthy level of vitamin D as a part of your whole body wellness and immune defense. So, how do we boost our vitamin D levels? Vitamin D can be found in foods like cheese, egg yolks, mushrooms, fatty fish like tuna, salmon, and mackerel, and fortified cereals and milk. We can also take supplements. The gorgeous weather lately has been beckoning us outside, so this seems like a great time to make your own vitamin D. The tricky part is protecting your skin from damage. The same UVB radiation that's necessary for you to make vitamin D is responsible for sunburns and skin cancer. For most people, being outdoors in the middle of the day for 10 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes for darker complexions, with uncovered hands or forearms, should produce plenty of vitamin D without risking a burn. So you might think about taking a midday call outside eating your lunch outdoors, or taking a short stroll in between Zoom meetings. Your immune system will thank you.